Now, if Christianity were true, would you become a Christian? Uh, uh, faster than you probably would. In Estonia, a northern European nation, the blend of old world charm and forward thinking innovation is compelling. With its unique status as a predominantly atheist country and an unusual demographic pattern favoring single women, Estonia provides an intriguing lens to view societal, technological, and cultural advancements. This video dives into various facets of life in Estonia, revealing a tapestry woven with tradition, modernity, and distinctive social paradigms. Atheism in Estonia Estonia stands out in Europe and indeed the world as a stronghold of secularism and atheism. According to various studies and surveys, it is one of the least religious countries globally. This is not a recent phenomenon, but rather a long-standing characteristic of Estonian society, deeply embedded in the nation's history and culture. Religion in Estonia, especially organized religion, has been often considered more of a cultural affiliation than a deeply rooted belief system. While Estonia has had a turbulent past, filled with occupations and foreign rule, religion has never been a rallying point for resistance or cultural preservation in the way that it has been in other nations. Instead, Estonians have gravitated towards secular forms of identity, be it linguistic, cultural, or national. The Lutheran Church, which was the dominant religious institution for centuries, lost much of its influence and membership following the Soviet occupation. The Soviets promoted atheism and suppressed religious practices, but it would be misleading to attribute Estonian atheism solely to this period. It's important to note that atheism in Estonia is not particularly militant or activist in nature. Estonians generally adopt a live-and-let-live -live approach to belief. Although public discussions about religion are rare, the topic is not taboo. In Estonian society, atheism is the default position so it doesn't need to be vehemently defended or promoted. There are no major movements or organizations pushing for atheism. It is simply a part of the cultural fabric. While there are religious communities within Estonia, they tend to be small and not particularly influential. In fact, many people who identify with a religious group do so out of a sense of tradition rather than profound belief. For example, Someone might identify as Lutheran or Orthodox Christian because their family has been so for generations, not necessarily because they adhere to the doctrines of these faiths. This lack of religiosity also influences the country's politics and policymaking. There is a clear separation between the church and state, with very limited influence of religious institutions in public life. Laws and policies are developed from a secular standpoint, and religious arguments seldom play a significant role in public debates or legislative decisions. The youth in Estonia are even less religious than their older counterparts, according to various studies. In the education system, religious studies are optional, and the subject matter is generally approached from an academic, non-devotional perspective. Estonia's leading universities have departments of theology, but these are academic in nature focusing on the study of religions as social and historical phenomena, rather than promoting any particular faith, digital society, and e-residency. Estonia has emerged as a global leader in digital innovation, setting a precedent for what a digital society can look like. The country has been trailblazing in integrating technology into everyday life, government, and business. When one mentions Estonia, the concept of e-residency often comes to mind as a revolutionary offering that has attracted global attention. This unique program allows individuals around the world to become virtual residents of Estonia, benefiting from its advanced digital infrastructure without physically residing in the country. Estonia's digital journey began in the early 2000s, with the government investing heavily in developing a robust e-governance model. From voting to filing taxes, virtually all bureaucratic processes can be completed online. Public services are designed with user experience in mind, making it efficient and hassle-free for citizens to interact with the government. E-residency expands this ecosystem beyond the borders of Estonia, offering businesses and freelancers worldwide a platform to operate within the European Union. While the concept of e-residency may sound futuristic, in Estonia, it's a logical progression of its digital society. A core component of this program is the digital ID, which is not only a legal identification, but also a way to sign documents, 
make secure transactions, and access services. The digital ID is highly secure, making use of two-factor authentication and encryption. It epitomizes the convenience and security that have come to characterize Estonia's digital society. The implications of e-residency are profound. Small businesses and freelancers can operate within the European market without the complexities and costs associated with establishing a physical presence in an EU member state. This has opened up a world of possibilities for entrepreneurs, particularly those from countries with less developed digital infrastructures. Additionally, the program has provided Estonia with a new avenue for economic development, attracting foreign investment, and fostering global partnerships. Estonia's approach to digital society goes beyond mere convenience. It is also about inclusivity and accessibility. Remote regions have access to the same level of services as urban areas. Digital literacy is promoted from a young age, with coding taught in schools and community centers equipped with internet facilities. The country has effectively closed the digital divide that plagues many other nations, ensuring that everyone, regardless of their socioeconomic background, can participate in the digital society. The gender gap and single women. Estonia presents a unique case when it comes to gender dynamics and the phenomenon of single women. According to some statistics and social observations, the country has a higher proportion of single women compared to other European nations. This is not a straightforward issue and can be attributed to various social, cultural, and economic factors that are intertwined in the fabric of Estonian society. One of the contributing elements to this pattern is Estonia's labor market, which is generally favorable to women. The country boasts a high employment rate among women, and it's not uncommon to see women in leadership roles across different sectors. While the wage gap does exist, as it does in many other countries, Women in Estonia have significant economic independence. This has naturally affected family dynamics and the traditional roles expected of women. Estonian society, being largely secular and progressive, doesn't impose stringent social norms that dictate a woman should be married or in a relationship to attain social respectability. There's a level of acceptance and freedom regarding individual life choices, which empowers women to pursue careers, education, and personal development on their own terms. It could be argued that this societal setup acts as both an enabler and a byproduct of the high rate of single women in the country. Historically, Estonia has faced challenges that have impacted its demographics, such as wars and occupations that have disproportionately affected the male population. This historical context, though not the sole reason, is another facet that contributes to the higher number of single women. These historical imbalances have long-lasting effects and contribute to contemporary social structures and norms. However, the high number of single women should not be mistaken as an indicator of a societal issue that needs fixing. On the contrary, many Estonian women view their single status as a lifestyle choice rather than a predicament. The local culture doesn't stigmatize women who are single, divorced, or who choose to cohabit rather than marry. Relationships are generally considered a private matter, and societal judgments are minimal. In terms of social infrastructure, the government provides strong support systems such as parental leave policies and childcare services, which could technically ease the life of a single parent. However, these policies do not necessarily serve as an incentive for women to enter into relationships or marriages. Rather, they bolster the freedom to choose one's path. Education System Estonia's education system has been gaining international attention for its high standards and impressive outcomes. The country consistently ranks among the top in the world in international assessments, such as the Program for International Student Assessment, PISA, TESTS, outperforming many wealthier and larger countries. What is perhaps even more striking is that the success is widespread and not limited to elite schools or specific demographics. Estonia has managed to achieve a high level of educational equity, where the difference in performance between schools and various student groups is minimal compared to international standards. This success is no accident but the result of carefully designed policies and cultural attitudes towards education. In Estonia, education is highly valued and teachers are respected professionals. While teacher salaries are not exorbitant, the profession is highly competitive and attracts top talent. 
The rigorous selection process ensures that only the most capable individuals become educators. Teaching methods emphasize critical thinking and problem solving rather than rote memorization. This fosters an environment where students are active participants in their learning journey, encouraged to question, explore, and think creatively. A distinctive feature of Estonia's education system is its early focus on individual needs. From the first years of schooling, there is an emphasis on personalized learning. Students who struggle with the curriculum receive additional support, while those who excel are provided with opportunities for advanced coursework. This individualized approach is made possible by relatively small class sizes and a flexible curriculum, which can be adapted according to the needs and abilities of students. It's a system that encourages diversity in learning paths rather than a one-size-fits-all approach. Technology also plays a significant role in Estonia's educational achievements. Given the country's success in digital governance and society, it's not surprising that digital literacy is a cornerstone of its education system. Students are introduced to computer science and coding from an early age. Moreover, digital tools are widely used to enhance the educational process, from administrative tasks to innovative teaching methods. Even before the COVID-19 pandemic, Estonian schools were well-equipped to shift to online learning, minimizing educational disruptions compared to other countries. Language is another noteworthy aspect of the educational landscape. Estonia has a bilingual education system to accommodate its Russian-speaking minority. This promotes cultural cohesion and ensures that all students, regardless of their linguistic background, have equal opportunities for academic success. The teaching of foreign languages, especially English, is also heavily emphasized, making young Estonians some of the most polyglot in Europe. Estonian language and identity. The Estonian language is a cornerstone of the country's identity, serving as a unifying force among its people. Unlike many languages in Europe, Estonian belongs to the Finno-Ugric language family, which also includes Finnish and Hungarian, setting it apart from the Indo-European languages that dominate most of the continent. This linguistic uniqueness is more than just a matter of academic interest. It's closely tied to the nation's sense of self and the preservation of its cultural heritage. Language plays a significant role in shaping identity, and in the case of Estonia, it has been a crucial element in maintaining national unity, especially during periods of foreign domination. Throughout its history, Estonia has been subjected to various occupations, including by the Germans, Swedes, and Soviets. Despite these external influences, the Estonian language has endured as a symbol of resistance and a vessel for keeping native traditions alive. Songs, folklore, and literature in Estonian have been a way for the community to come together, remember its past, and assert its distinctiveness. The Estonian language is also deeply woven into the social fabric of the country. From school curricula to public life, Estonian is the medium through which citizens connect with their government, their history, and each other. The country's dedication to maintaining its language is evident in its educational system. From a young age, students are immersed in Estonian literature, history, and art, instilling a sense of pride and belonging. This linguistic emphasis is not simply a matter of tradition, but a well-calibrated strategy to cultivate a unified, informed citizenry. Estonia's modern policies on language also reflect its commitment to inclusivity. While Estonian is the official language, there is also a considerable Russian-speaking population in the country. Bilingual education programs and public services in multiple languages aim to integrate this community while upholding the primacy of the Estonian language. In a broader context, the preservation of the Estonian language goes hand in hand with the country's progressive policies on digital governance, education, and social welfare. Just as Estonia invests in technology and infrastructure, it also invests in the cultivation and preservation of its language. This focus on language extends to the diaspora as well. Estonian communities abroad often have schools and cultural centers dedicated to teaching the language and traditions to younger generations. For many expatriates and their descendants, language becomes the primary connection to their Estonian roots, an invaluable inheritance that keeps them linked to their homeland, even if they are physically distant. Business environment and startups. Known as Europe's Silicon Valley, 
Estonia has a bustling business environment that punches well above its weight in terms of innovation and entrepreneurship. The country's business-friendly policies, combined with its robust digital infrastructure, create an ideal ecosystem for startups and established firms alike. Estonia is home to a disproportionate number of successful startups relative to its small population, including globally recognized names like Skype, TransferWise, now Wise, and Bolt. One of the most defining features of Estonia's business landscape is its emphasis on digital solutions. The country was one of the first to adopt e-governance, and this digital-first approach extends to its business regulations and services as well. The process of starting a business in Estonia is notably streamlined, allowing for online registration and operation. Various government initiatives facilitate this ease of doing business, such as the e-residency program, which enables global entrepreneurs to start and manage an EU-based company online. Access to funding is another factor contributing to the success of Estonian startups. Both domestic and international venture capital is readily available. The government also provides grants and supports research and development activities, offering additional financial avenues for startups. The coexistence of multiple funding sources creates a robust financial ecosystem that sustains businesses from their nascent stages to full-fledged operations. The country's strong educational system plays a vital role as well, supplying a workforce that is skilled, particularly in the fields of technology, engineering, and design. The collaboration between academia and industry is significant, often resulting in cutting-edge research and innovation. This symbiotic relationship enriches the business environment, bringing fresh ideas and enthusiasm into the marketplace. Estonia's geographic location and membership in the European Union further enhance its appeal as a business hub. Its proximity to major markets like Germany, Sweden, and Russia offers strategic advantages for trade and expansion. Being part of the EU means companies have access to a vast single market, which can be particularly lucrative for startups aiming to scale quickly. Free movement within the Schengen area also facilitates business travel, allowing for a more dynamic interchange of ideas and talents. The local culture in Estonia is inherently conducive to entrepreneurship. The national psyche values independence, ingenuity, and resilience, traits that align well with the startup mentality. Estonians are generally open to new ideas and quick to adopt new technologies, creating a domestic market that serves as a useful testing ground for innovative products and services. The small size of the local market also means that businesses have to think globally from day one, instilling a sense of ambition and scale that is crucial for international success. Festivals and Traditions Estonia may be a country known for its digital society and business acumen, but it also has a deeply rooted cultural heritage manifested in its festivals and traditions. These events are not just mere celebrations, they are an integral part of the Estonian identity preserving the nation's history, folklore, and communal bonds. One of the most significant cultural events in Estonia is the Song and Dance Celebration, a tradition that dates back to 1869. Held every five years, this festival gathers tens of thousands of singers and dancers and even more spectators, making it one of the largest amateur choral events in the world. The festival serves as a powerful affirmation of Estonian identity, so much so that it played a role in the country's struggle for independence during the singing revolution of the late 1980s. Another widely celebrated festival is Janapayev, the Estonian Midsummer Day. Falling on the summer solstice, this event involves lighting bonfires, singing traditional songs, and participating in various rituals intended to bring good fortune. The festivities often stretch late into the night, taking full advantage of the shortest night of the year. The holiday is celebrated across the country, from the smallest villages to the biggest cities, and has pagan roots that date back to ancient times. Christmas is also a big deal in Estonia, which claims to be the home of the first public Christmas tree, erected in Tallinn in 1441. The holiday season is marked by a range of traditional activities, from special church services to Christmas markets. Estonians celebrate Christmas Eve as the most significant day of the holiday, with families gathering to enjoy a festive dinner that often includes traditional foods like blood sausage, sauerkraut, and pork. Children go from house to house, 
singing carols and receiving treats in return, a custom that has been passed down through generations. Another unique tradition is Seto Kingdom Day, a festival celebrating the culture of the Seto people, an ethnic minority in southeastern Estonia. The event features traditional Seto music, food, and a unique form of polyphonic singing known as Lilo. During the festival, the Seto also elect a king for the day, albeit in a symbolic manner to preside over the celebrations. It's a vibrant display of a distinct culture within Estonia, showing the country's respect for diversity and heritage, nature and environment. Estonia's natural landscape is a stunning tapestry of forests, lakes, rivers, and a sprawling coastline along the Baltic Sea. But what sets Estonia apart is not just the presence of these natural features. It's the country's concerted efforts to preserve and live harmoniously with its environment. More than half of the country's land area is covered by forests, making Estonia one of the most heavily forested nations in Europe. These forests are not only an essential aspect of the national identity, but also serve as vital ecosystems that support a wide range of flora and fauna. The concept of sustainable living is deeply ingrained in Estonian culture. For centuries, Estonians have practiced a form of agrarian life that complements the natural cycles of the land. Traditional farming methods, hunting practices, and even folklore reflect a respect for the environment and the understanding that human prosperity is intricately tied to the health of the earth. This historical connection to nature has carried over into modern environmental policies, which are among the most progressive in the world. Estonia is a pioneer in implementing ambitious clean energy goals. Wind and biomass are significant sources of renewable energy, and the country has plans to further diversify its clean energy portfolio. As part of its commitment to sustainability, Estonia aims to be carbon neutral by 2050 a goal that involves not just technological innovation, but also changes in consumption patterns and public behavior. Recycling is widespread, and environmental education begins at an early age, instilling a sense of responsibility and stewardship in the younger generation. This focus on sustainability extends to urban planning as well. Estonian cities prioritize green spaces, efficient public transport, and cycling paths to minimize the ecological footprint of urban life. Tallinn, the capital, offers free public transportation to its residents, a move that not only alleviates traffic and reduces emissions, but also sets a precedent for other cities worldwide to follow. Water management is another area where Estonia excels, with advanced purification systems ensuring that both urban and rural areas have access to clean water. However, Estonia's environmental efforts are perhaps most visibly manifested in its national parks and nature reserves. These protected areas are hotspots for biodiversity and are maintained with utmost care to balance public access with ecological integrity. Lahima National Park, for instance, gives visitors a glimpse into the various ecosystems that exist within the country, from dense forests and mires to rocky coastlines. These parks are not just tourist destinations, but living laboratories where conservation efforts and scientific research go hand in hand. Healthcare and well-being. In Estonia, healthcare and well-being are not viewed merely as services provided by hospitals and clinics. They are integral to the very fabric of society. Estonia's healthcare system is a mix of public and private services built on the pillars of accessibility, quality, and innovation. The country ranks high on various global healthcare indexes, which is a testament to its commitment to maintaining high standards in this sector. Universal healthcare is available to all residents, ensuring that essential medical services are accessible irrespective of socioeconomic status. The Estonian Health Insurance Fund, which is publicly funded, covers a significant portion of medical expenses, making healthcare affordable for the average citizen. In line with its digital-first approach in other sectors, Estonia has been a pioneer in adopting digital solutions in healthcare. A centralized electronic health record system allows for seamless sharing of medical information among healthcare providers, leading to more coordinated and efficient care. This digital infrastructure not only streamlines administrative tasks, but also empowers patients by giving them easy access to their medical records. 
Telemedicine is also increasingly becoming an essential feature of the healthcare landscape, enabling remote consultations and making medical advice more accessible to those living in rural areas. Preventative care is highly emphasized, reflecting a societal belief that health is not just the absence of disease, but a state of overall well-being. Regular screenings for various conditions are commonplace, and there is a strong focus on educating the public about healthy lifestyle choices. Nutritional guidance, physical exercise programs, and mental health resources are often incorporated into public health initiatives, offering a holistic approach to well-being. Schools play a significant role in this preventative strategy, with educational programs aimed at instilling healthy habits from a young age. But healthcare in Estonia isn't just about treating illnesses, it's also about enhancing quality of life. A well-developed network of spas and wellness centers offers various therapies, from traditional treatments like mud baths to modern wellness solutions like cryotherapy. These facilities are not just tourist attractions. They are an integral part of Estonian culture, reflecting a centuries-old tradition of using natural resources like mineral-rich mud and spring water for therapeutic purposes. Estonia's focus on mental health is also noteworthy. Psychological well-being is increasingly recognized as an essential aspect of overall health, and resources are allocated to provide accessible mental health services. Counseling and psychiatric services are available in both public and private healthcare settings, and there is growing awareness about the importance of addressing mental health issues openly.